You I wouldn't be there. Just finish and leave because the problem's solved. I'm no. Dumb now. No. I'm done now. Thank you. I uh, hey, I've got a problem. I can't talk I'm to my girlfriend. Can you help me with that? No, service. I didn't join a cult. I'm doing Dianetics. Yeah, I had no idea I joined the cult. I had no idea I joined anything. There was a Russian guy here sure one day. There was a Russian guy came here one day on Saturday morning, and he was here because he'd been told by somebody that they could help his wife who was crazy. Really? You're practicing medicine without a license now? No they, idea. They feel like you owe them your life, your liberty, your money. Well, probably the same as everybody else, just a pack of lies, basically. Yeah, but usually somebody has a little win in Scientology. No, there's an OT8 coming down the stairs now. Really? Is yep. that Duffy? Yep. Oh, it's Duffy. Yep. He's going to die in there. But well, it's okay, because he'll come back next, next lifetime as what? Famous something opera singer like that. or something like that. I'm not too sure. Isn't it OT8? You're supposed to be able to pick up body. Not too sure. Duffy. Hiya. Hey Bernard. I'm an SP. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> uh, Bernard, come on, you let me down, man. Jesus. Yeah, you Why down. haven't you woken up? You have let yourself No, down. I have not. <laughs> don't, be a don't be a very silly man. You uh, sound like a, a crazy person. Dermot. Uh, Bernard. Name? Sorry. So you, I'm so used to looking at Dermot. Scientology can help uh, you with that. Scientology can help me with that memory, yeah. Tell you what, I'm sorry for you. No, you don't need to be sorry for me. Uh, there's yeah. no clear, there's no. We know the OTA cognition without even getting to it. And I now know who I'm not, I'm not and I'm ready to find out who I am. Bernard, you went through, you're in it since the 50s, and you spent all that time and money just to be told that. We can tell you for free, we can read it on the internet for free. And we haven't died by reading it either. Well, why don't you? I did read it. <laughs> I did read it, Bernard. <laughs> Bernard, you're not using it, you're going to have to do your whole bridge again due to Golden Age of Tech 2. How was that? He is fucked. He's going to die in Scientology. Jesus Christ, that's tragic. He's 92. How many times can you buy the same book? He's 92. Books? Yeah, 93 actually, guys. Yeah, he is, but it's not a Scientology. No, it's 93 now. It must be Scientology. Yeah. Mm. I went to 69 Marion Square, did I tell you? Well, my grandma lived to 105 and she was a Scientologist. Mm. Most people in the world are not Scientologists. They get along fine. It's true. It's your gen genetic endowment that predetermines what age you live. No, no, it's not genetic. It's postulates. <laughs> that's what does it. <laughs> Yeah, that's why Andy Broker got cancer, was it, at 60 odd years of age, is it? Aye. Aye. OT's getting cancer, what's that like? And heart attacks. Did you know that David Gaiman had a heart attack in the middle of a Reg interview? He's been Reg, not, many, not a lot of people know that. He dropped out of a heart attack in the middle of a Reg interview. About it at the same time. Wasn't Isaac Hayes asked, uh, told to go go off his meds? I don't know about that. Yeah. I just know <clears> he. Um, he was. He had a heart condition. And I think he was told not to take his medication, and he was still exercising, and I think it killed him. That was after I left. He was doing all right. When I was at CC, he was doing okay. Okay. Put him through his. It wasn't me. I didn't kill him. I didn't ask him. And then I heard, what did, he, did he dive? Oh no, that was the, uh, who was the Kung Fu guy that hung himself? David Carradine. Yeah, OT7 hung yeah. himself in the hotel. Was he, a yeah. he was, yeah, David Carradine. He played yeah. piano in the lobby at CCN, hung himself. Yeah. He was involved in, in auto-eroticism. Auto yeah. Incident, and he hung himself. Yeah. 
suspending himself. OT7. Suspending yourself by the neck whilst masturbating. Yeah, it's supposed to be good. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> hey, should we try it? <laughs> well, masturbating is a no-no in psychology. No, I know. You're not allowed to. Pulling in like that. Auto-watch porno. Auto-eroticism, that's the name they give it. Auto-erotic asphyxiation. Yeah. And then eyes, what did eyes die? It was heart attack. Heart, yeah, it was just heart. It's too much stress, all the fucking red. It's a lot of stress, players. yeah. Nancy uh, Cartwright's husband, 2D. Suicide. Suicide. He was OT1, was he OT7? Yeah. Yep. He had a building business and he was broke. In fact, only a few months before he passed away, he was in the IS magazine as a, you know, he'd, he'd, up, he'd upped his status and given him 100 grand, and yet his business went bust a few months later. Maybe mainly because he was a big SP. Give donations to him. Give donations to him. Well, that probably does a lot for me. Hi. 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 You've been sent to see us. Sorry? You've been sent to see us. No, who are you? <laughs> 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 That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's the end. Do you want a gig today or something? No, this is a gig. <laughs> nice. What's happening? Uh, uh, this. This building here is the Church of Scientology Mission of Dublin Dianetics. We are ex-Scientologists. Okay. These people are Scientologists. Who's and we're, me? Who's me? Who's well, that guy there, this guy here, and that girl there. Three people. Three people. And we're trying to tell the people who are Scientologists okay. that what we've learned by being in Scientology was actually lies. Okay. And the fact that they're being conned and defrauded by the organization, well, which talking. is convicted in France of fraud, extortion, spying. Medicine, yeah. So we're just talking to them and trying to help them. What was the awakening for yourselves? Good question. It was a lot of different things, but it was mainly just looking at. Wow, yeah. Uh, looking at things on the internet, finding out that what I was led to believe was true was actually lies. You know. What would be your initial beliefs? Good question. Um, I wasn't particularly religious, you know. I was never particularly religious. My mom was raised a Catholic. Um, I was raised a Protestant, but I converted to Catholicism when I came to Ireland because I didn't want to be like an odd one out. <laughs> <laughs> Catholics are very close by our minor. Absolutely, yeah. King Henry's divorce, I think that's what it is. Yeah, you're right, yeah. You mean us kicking the Pope out? Well, I think it was just King Henry wanted to get divorced. Yeah, it was. That's what it was over. The Pope, yeah, it was over. I thought this caused serious. Yeah. Between people who believe the same thing. Well, you know yourself, there's more trouble in the name of religion than anything, you know. Uh, is Scientology a religion? No, that's a good question. Is it? Yes. Yes. Thanks, David. Yes. 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 David. I'm a Catholic, so... Careful now. Don't let them convert you. <laughs> Down with this sort of thing. They tried it with Tom Kennedy, it wasn't successful. Does it bother you that Dermot is now telling that guy a pack of lies? Because all we've done is talk to you. Hey, Sabrina. Yeah. Like, you mean like Sabrina lied to the radio station and pretended... <laughs> So you call the police merchants of chaos every other time, but did you call them when you're in trouble? You're hypocrites. Hi, Dermot. Oh, this is going to be fun. I want to stay. Is she going to tell the same lies she told to the local radio station? Oh, is she going to is do that a reenactment? Is that, is that a normal part of your life as well, lying to the press? What was the statistics? How no 87% redu reduction, reduction in drug-related drug crime. The police thought that was really funny. At least didn't know really what you're talking. They're scratching their heads because I think the re uh, reduction was. The like radio 7%. host laughed at Sabrina on the radio. 
And he said, what did he say? Are you going to, are you going to admit that the Church of Scientology has lied to everybody, has used us to lie? Doesn't it bother you that they did lie in that New Year's event? Obviously not. Sad. He's used to it. Live with, when you live with lies, they become more and more acceptable. <laughs> you see, if we'd done something wrong, we'd probably be afraid of the police, but we haven't done anything wrong. What have we done that's wrong? Talk to you? Is that wrong? Is that so wrong? Not like Scientology, it makes you suppressive. And dark. Uh, I actually don't dislike Scientology. I dislike the liars and hypocrites that call themselves the most ethical people on the planet. I'm going to wait till the guard comes and down and we'll have a chat with him. And cheat and steal to get what they want. Because, I mean, Dermot said to, to the guard, he wants to go upstairs and tell him what we've been really up to. What have we, re what have we been really mm. up to? I know, it's all just... Like, if you stand in the doorway, they say you're blocking the doorway. It's busy, it's just, you know, got a load of comments. It's way to happiness. It's <laughs> the way to happiness, yeah, right. Like, if you stand in the doorway, they say you're blocking the doorway, except no one goes in, yeah. you know. You don't practice much preach. Those guys don't, anyway. They're not happy. You see the face and the scowls and Dermot and that. It's fun. I'm totally happy. I'm totally happy to make a statement to the guards without lying. Or using so acceptable no, truths. Wouldn't have that addiction for a start. That's not going to come You people are convicted of fraud, extortion, conspiracy, practicing spying, medicine practicing medicine without a license. And you're doing the same thing here. What would you think, Michael? Hepatitis B, I think it is, is incurable. Would hey. you tell someone that you could cure it and then proceed to do touch assists on her? 30,000 quids worth of touch assists? Come on. Would you try and cure someone's hepatitis with, with touch assists? Would you? Because someone was, in there uh, Grace Ryder, did. Grace Ryder came in here a few years ago. She used to be the 2D of Brendan Murphy. And they promised her that they'd cure her of hepatitis. I mean, the medical profession can't even do that. And they put in 10 plus years of study. They tried to do it with touch assists. Now, come on. Or do you think that's going to work? Do you think that like somewhere, somewhere along the line she's got this postulate to get hepatitis and she got it and if you can just find the postulate that gave her hepatitis then she'll get rid of it or is some SP in her environment giving her the hepatitis? Uh, hello? Feel my finger, thank you. Feel my finger, thank you. No need for hospital. You can't cure hepatitis B with a touch assist. Period. It's incurable. So why would you tell someone, why would you take 30 grand off someone, giving them the hope that you could cure them? It's insane. It's crazy. You know, just, uh, they, they <coughs> you're, you're, you're free. So you think it's okay to lie? <coughs> In the name of Scientology, you think it's okay to lie? To forward the aims of Scientology, it's okay to lie to people? Is that what you think? Because that's wrong, that's criminal, that's fraudulent. And that's what got the people convicted in France. And it's also why you're going to trial in Belgium. So it's okay to say you're a religion in parts of the EU. You're actually not. In Ireland, you're a business. In America, you're recognized by the IRS as a religion. That's it. In the Texas courts, David Miscavige got laughed out of the courtroom, out of the courtroom for telling the judge he was the, one of the highest religious leaders in the world and could not possibly go to defend himself against the charges leveled against him. You know he's in court in Texas, don't you? Or at least they're trying no, to No, he probably him. doesn't know no, that. No, he's running around. He's running away from it at the moment. Actually banned in Greece he's actually, and Kazakhstan, believe it or not. He's actually doing court in Texas. Who else is deposed? They tried to ban the books in Russia. I don't think the books should be banned. I think the books should be made available so people can read them for themselves. I think the OT level should be available. So it should all be available. Of course it should. See, I don't the, believe in without, censorship. Without the secrecy computation, it would all fall down. Right. I mean, if people knew, knew fucking EPs, no EPs, more BTs. The EPs used to be on the grey chart up to a certain point, but I think they've changed them now. But basically, it's the same. It's like, you know, OT3 is no more BTs, and then four, five, six, seven, eight. More BTs. 
no real cognitions after no more beatings. You think we're making this up? You actually what? You did the you did OT three, and you were talking, oh right, and you, and you were okay. No, no more BTs. No, you no more BTs. Talking. No more BTs until you get to OT four, five, six, seven, and eight. Because that's all you're handling. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. More communication, okay? To both of you. Okay. Right. Good. One communication because you know what? You can do this all your life. Okay. Yeah. I completely understand exactly what you have said to me. I've got it all, and you know what? Thank you. It's fine. Is that an acknowledgement or what? No, not really. <laughs> so in other words, in other words, you're continuing to, to delude yourself. Got it. Sorry, man. Okay, fine. Continue on. Okay, here. so do, do you actually think an acknowledgement is that powerful? No. Right. You know what? You can continue to communicate, but I'm not going to acknowledge you again, okay? So it is an acknowledgement. No. But you're not going to acknowledge me again. Is it a reenactment of an no, acknowledgement? Even just actually opening my mouth, doesn't matter what I say, you will attempt to twist it and make me wrong. No. Completely. No. Yes. No. You haven't tried, so you don't know that. Then don't do it. Just acknowledge me to what I've said. But that's making me shut up. Well, it was not acknowledgement of the conversation with them. But hang on, you're telling me you've not acknowledged me, and then you're telling me that you have acknowledged me, and I'm not trying to twist it. You said that. Uh, yeah, you either did or you didn't acknowledge us. You did acknowledge us. You do exist. Well done. Great. Right. Don't smoke. That's a fuck off act. Shut up. End the conversation. What's happening now? Not much. It's cold for us. Of course. Why are you dressed dress like this? See you, good luck. So I guess what you're saying, even though you're not going to listen to me or acknowledge, what he's saying, even though he's not going to acknowledge or, or whatever, is that he's not going to investigate anything that we've asked him to investigate. Well, that's an evaluation. Yeah, but I'm going to assume that anyway. Now, all I would say is, if there 